So hi folks, um, previous video we uh, did the cutouts to, to mortise in the bracing. Now I'm adding uh, a line of glue on the perfing, trying to favor the outside edge, although I've got to make sure I've got 100% coverage. Uh, obviously a loose back once it's all glued is not going to be any value to anybody. I don't want too much squeeze out on the inside line but because there's a binding going on after I can have any kind of squeeze out I like on the outside part here. So I favor the outside. Favor the outside. But make sure I got 100% coverage. And I've got the end blocks all done. I just make sure they're okay. A bit more there. Okay, and that thing, I still got the indexes in place. Let's get rid of my glue. And this thing is ready to go on. I removed the tape because I don't want to push on that too hard. And that thing's going in there right now. Okay. Make sure it's going to seat. I have a special system with the same curve as the back. Curve, a piece of rope in it, the rope compresses and uh, allows me to get full pressure on every segment of this back. So, just got to make sure I'm fitted, make sure that I don't pinch down where I don't want to. I have some very strange looking pieces here. purposely got old old maple boards here that have a cup in them so that when I torsion down on the center bolt I get pressure on the outside edges so that's why they're rough I never planed them or anything it was kind of one of those things where I was working to make sure I get full pressure wherever I need to and that's looking reasonable just a waste Clamp on. I want to get an even pressure all the way around this thing uh, without excessive pressure, but enough to make sure that glue joint pulls down tight, tight, tight. Mm, that's kind of what it looks like. This one goes forward. So I leave these things, mostly I clamp these overnight, but uh, if I'm trying to work on something, I may leave it only for an hour. I think the tight bond too says 45 minutes before you uh, actually work with the joint. So then I just gotta, I gotta systematically go around and tighten it down and watch where I got the pressure being applied. Make sure it goes evenly. And that's really it. Once I get that all tight, I will sit tight and leave that to harden with the glue set. And that's coming down nice. I can see the glue starting to squish out there. Thanks for watching.